Stay away. Cheese, fruits and veggies, even tortillas. Each year the state of Alabama receives commodities like these from the federal government to help feed students. The local 15 Stephen Quinn shows us how they're turning dull into delicious. Students and staff got together this morning for a common goal, to spice up the meals at school. It's one month to the date that we actually came together and we said we were having a commodity cook-off and we announced it to them and uh, we just decided to have this so we could just see what was out there and get them excited about what we have. Managers from almost every school in the district entered their tastiest recipe using at least one ingredient that is a commodity that the schools receive from the federal government. Take a look at this table right here. All of these meals are used with the same potato base. It takes a lot of judging to get to all of these meals. And for Cheyenne Jones, one of the judges, she says it's a big responsibility to her classmates. They told us it was 83 dishes. And I was like, are we tasting all that? I don't have enough room in my stomach for that. But yeah, so they divided them up and I was really excited. Uh, are you full right now? Not at the moment because I try to take small bites, <laughs> but it's getting there. And first place in the entree goes to Karen Dickinson. The managers with winning recipes received cash and gift cards. Karen Dickinson with Cal Cedeva Elementary won best entree for her chicken stew. She says cooking isn't something she does for prizes. I have elementary students that I cook for. I see that the need for the school lunch program because sometimes that's the only meal I get. Reporting in Mobile, Stephen Quinn, Local 15 News.